Hey guys, I'm Ashley Harrington for Red Carpet Report, and we're in Beverly Hills at the Children Mending Hearts event, where we talk to celebrities about their favorite childhood memories. Nice to meet you. I'm a bit clammy, I apologize. It's a little bit warm. It's okay. It's okay. So, what brings you here? What brings me here? Um, a very good friend of mine, Sarah Pantero, is uh, running things today. Uh, and anything she demands I come to, I, I have to because she's the boss. No, she's, she's a fantastic person inside now and anything she's involved with, then um, I always want to be a part of because she's an incredible person and has very strong beliefs and morals. And she told me about today and I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for kids, you know, and I believe that, you know, if it, it's, it's cliche, yeah, the future and stuff, but nowadays kids are kind of stuck behind TV screens, they're kind of playing computer games and things like that. When I was younger, my mum kind of forced me out of the house and I was forced into programs, into, into art groups and into sports teams and it really helped bring me out of my shell and, and you know, kind of, you kind of build a family outside your family, you know, and, and it raises awareness of various, you know, issues that, that are going on today instead of being stuck behind, you know, Grand Theft Auto 10 or whatever we're on at the moment. But, uh, you know, it's, so hopefully the kids have a great time today, they learn a little bit, they, you know, they realise that there's a lot more out there than, uh, than video games. So, as a child, what would be like your favorite summer thing to do every summer? My favorite summer thing? Yeah, summer, what would you do? Wow. Well, I used to get shipped off, well, my dad was in the Royal Air Force, so I used to get shipped off to like activity camps. So, I, I was very lucky, I was very lucky. I used to think it was because he loved me, but I think it's because he wanted some time alone. Um, but no, we used to abseil and, and go shooting and, and, and various things, you know, assault courses, and it kept me very active, it kept me healthy, and like I say, you, you met so many people on these activity camps, and it really does bring you out your shell. Um, you make, find it easier to make friends. Again, you stay, you stay healthy because you're, you're staying active, you're out the house, you're not just sat on the sofa. You know, you're getting vitamin D, you're out in the sunshine. Though in England, we, 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 we struggle with that, you know, I'm sure you see a lot more sun out here. Um, but yeah, so... My dad kept me very active during the summer, um, but I always checked in with the family and friends as well. We, we always made sure that we, uh, we visited a few relatives. So what's one thing you miss from England being here? From England? I miss my friends and family, but that is literally it. Um, I mean, the sun shines every day here. Are you, are you kidding me? Um, you know, my only problem in, in LA is, is what color shorts do I wear? You know, it's... It's ridiculous. Someone has to annoy me for me to be in a bad mood in LA because I wake up happy because I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm working, the sun is shining, it's beautiful. I, I have to bump into someone who annoys me to upset me. In England, I'll wake up, it's dark because it's dark always in the morning. It's cold, so I don't want to get out the duvet. I open the curtains and it's raining, so I'm sat there eating my cereal, miserable. I've not even walked out my door yet. So I'm a much happier person in LA, I think. It, it definitely does it, it you know, I'm, I'm definitely feeling the Cali life. You know, I'm getting into the, the basketball, the American football. Still not quite there on the, on the baseball and the, uh, the hockey, but I'm learning. I'm learning. Baby steps. Baby steps. So have you been watching the finals in basketball? I have. Well, my team's not really great. It's, it's the Bulls. We're, we're struggling at the moment. The Bulls. That's my lady. Um, yeah, but... I guess it's kind of similar to soccer here. Um, America only follows the big teams in England. In England, we only followed the big teams of America. So when I was growing up, it was Michael Jordan. So I followed Michael Jordan. I mean, we've got Derek Rose now when he plays, but he, you know, he's kind of, he kind of plays like three times a year. I wish I had his job. I'm in the wrong industry, you know. I'd like his money for playing three times a year. Um, but you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it is what it is. And, Unfortunately, my team's not in there, so I just have to enjoy uh, watching other teams be successful. Yeah, it's, 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 there's some good series this year. Um, I'm getting into the World Cup, though. I mean, I'm, I'm, I wanted to say that I'm here instead of watching England play their first game against Italy in the World Cup. They're playing right now, okay? That is love. That is love for the kids. I was watching it. I want to know how I can be one of the little kids holding their hands walking out. How you can be one of the kids? Well, you just stick right you in a school here. uniform. You look like a kid. You, you're tiny. You're like a pocket rocket. I know. I was working out. I'm like, how do I do this? I want to do this. Literally, all you got to do. I could just I could just take you along. I mean, you look 12. That, that could work. Yeah? No, you just want to like hold David Beckham's hand or something. Or, or Ronaldo. Yeah. Well, that could, that could be a problem because I'm, I'm, I don't think you'd let go. And so they kind of, that'd be awkward. And then there'd be an awkward moment on TV in front of the whole world where this kid won't let go. 
Yeah, that, that, yeah, so maybe we should keep you away from the, the pretty footballers. Stay in the crowd, watch it on TV. Yeah. Stay here with me and, and help the kids. See what I did there? Yes, I did. I like that, I like that. Well, I guess I'll let you go. Well, thank you very much. You have fun. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite childhood memory is.